Hello everyone, I'll be reviewing this Nokia 2.4 Android smartphone. Now, Nokia makes a lot of mid-range smartphones. It's being made by HMD Global. So a lot of the smartphones are around the mid-range smartphones and low budget. I hardly seen any flagship smartphones, I think one or I think two, but mostly it's around the mid-range, most of the smartphones that are being made. Now this is one of them, it's worth around £100-£250 pound UK currency and it competes with a lot of other smartphones that's within that price range. Some of them are better than this and others are not as good as this. So let's go through the features it has. Now before that, what, what you would get inside the box is a mains plug here, you will also get a micro USB charging cable and this pin to open up the SIM tray. Now, once you open up the SIM tray, this takes two nano SIMs and a micro SD memory card, so you can expand the memory that way. And it also has the power button, the volume control. It has the other button here as well to uh, on to go straight to uh, the Google Assistant here. And at the top, it also takes a 3.5 millimeters headphone jack as well. At the back. It has a nice build quality, I like it. I like the build quality of this. And it has a brand logo there with the fingerprint sensor, dual camera and a flashlight as well. At the bottom here, it has the speakers built in here and micro USB charging port. Now, it would have been better if they had a USB Type-C charging port because nowadays, it doesn't matter if it's a mid-range smartphone or a flagship smartphone, most of the smartphones have USB Type-C built in and it's a lot better. It, you can put the charger in either way, it will still charge, whereas this, these ones can damage at night when you can't see and you're trying to push it in. Obviously, it's not a big problem, but I'm just saying... Now let's go through it. I, I skipped the registration and went straight to the main menu just to show you exactly how much memory there is because some of them use up a lot of memory without you even downloading any apps or even updating any apps. Now I haven't connected the Wi-Fi as well so it's not, it hasn't updated anything. Let's go to the settings. Now when you go to the settings, storage, you can see 19.84 gig it's remaining so 38% of the memory is already being used up with the pre-installed apps now if you if I connect the Wi-Fi it will also update it so it will use up even more so that's quite a lot of memory used up without even downloading your own apps now I like I like the um, how smooth it operates but that's because it doesn't have any apps installed now when you install it it will start slowing down because it only has 2 gig RAM built in and 32 gig internal memory and you can expand that memory by, with that micro SD memory card and the good thing about this is that it has a built in 4500 mAh battery capacity so it, it gives you a good long usage time, con continuous usage time the screen size of this is 6.5 inch HD plus display so the screen this display is really nice and it has two ways of unlocking. One is uh, by AI face unlock. So you got that option there. And you got the fingerprint um, sensor. And you got the screen lock so you can put the pin password in. So you got two different ways of unlocking this. Uh, it, the rear camera is here. This is a 30 megapixel and a 2 megapixel. And the front camera has a 5, five megapixel camera built in. So for a big screen size like this 6.5 inch and being a budget smartphone it's decent i mean it's not the best smartphone yeah it's not the le least um uh, the rubbish smartphones because there are some that are really bad operating for that price this one does operate very well build quality is amazing and yeah the camera is brilliant I've, I've taken a couple of pictures so let's go and check the pictures out and I can show you exactly what I mean by the camera is good okay so I've taken hold on I've taken a few pictures just trying to get the pictures up because this is quite good the fact that you can take photos in low light so you got that feature built into this as, let me just go to files and get these up. So these are the camera photos. I'm going to put on max brightness. So it's max brightness as well. I'm going to put auto rotate as well. So let's check it out. Now 
if you look here this is with my main light on not with the camera light on and it looks pretty good pretty, pretty good um, good for this camera for a budget smartphone like this now this is with the a flashlight on it it's not as good but it's still decent now let me get the uh, the video up just to show you the video is quite good it's It doesn't capture properly everything, but I think it's still good. The camera quality is good. Now, you've seen it. So the camera-wise, it's not bad. I mean, it's good at recording. Autofocus is decent. Uh, with the flashlight on, it's good as well. Uh, overall wise it's brilliant it's a, it's a phone that's only worth 100 pounds no you're not really spending 1000 pound on this or 800 pound or 600 pound on it it's only about 100 to 150 pound and you get a smartphone that has a good battery life big screen uh you got decent um, camera built in as well uh ram wise it's not the best because if you're if you're doing quite, quite a few things it will slow it down uh, a lot and it requires at least minimum 4 gig or 6 gig minimum to at least hold up a lot of gaming. If you're playing a few games, etc., it will slow it down a lot. But otherwise, for a budget, a smartphone or a mid-ranger, um, design-wise, it looks very nice. Uh, it would it would have been better if you had a USB Type C charging port. The speaker is good. It's clear. It also takes a 3.5 millimeters headphone jack. It also has a Google Assistant button here as well. And it's a, it's a decent, reliable smartphone, that I would say. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. Please do give a like and subscribe.